Basketball season is in full swing. Indoor track and field release their schedule, and ice hockey enjoys some time off the ice as Thanksgiving approaches. All that, more, plus the top plays of the week on this edition of the Riverhawk Report. Track and field coach Gary Gardner announced his team's indoor schedule for the upcoming winter. 12-meet schedule starts on December 3rd at the Alden Invitational that will be hosted by Brown. Ice hockey split a series with Notre Dame this past weekend. They don't play until December 2nd when they have a home-and-home -home series with UConn. After three straight losses, men's basketball looks to get back in the win column tonight when they play Mississippi Valley State to finish up the 2016 Indiana Classic. Pat Duquette spoke about how his team has dealt with the transition period. But deep down inside, they understand. Um, I think it's really, really important in this transition to be able to differentiate between the things we can control and the things we can't. And we've got to reward ourselves uh, for the positive steps and the things that we've done well. It's the only way to get through it and stay together and then eventually win the games that you can win. So I'm confident that this group understands that and I'm looking forward to uh, keep getting better and Playing some home games, guys. Let's get home, huh? You get your wish, Pat. The squad is back in town on Saturday when they host LIU Brooklyn for bingo card giveaway night. Women's basketball is still searching for their first win on the young season. They're already playing a top five team this year. The team will be tested again on Wednesday when they play sixth ranked Indiana. Head coach Janari Harris had a few words to say about her team's star studded schedule. We gotta, we gotta get excited to play good teams. We gotta wanna play good teams. And I think that um, Indiana is definitely that. We had a chance to go against Maryland. And so now we'll just get ready and uh, go back and, and practice and put some, some things together and understand the scouting report to, to take on a Big Ten team. After the bout with Indiana, the team will head back east to play BU on Saturday. Your safe bank top plays of the week at number three. Shankia McCollum driving through the lane, takes it strong and gets the call. He's pretty fired up about that one. Let's look at that one again. Pass the defender to the rack. At number two, CJ Smith takes his pass from John Edward. A little bit of whoop. The shot off the rebound, buries it on the second chance opportunity. See it there, good glove save, but allows that rebound to come out and Smith buries it. And your top play of the week, Kayla Gibbs, doing her best Bo Levi Mitchell impression. Yep, that's right, Canadian football reference. Full court pass to Megan Hendricks, who lays it in beautifully. See here, another shot. Catches her in stride, finishes it for two. 